Well, a new twist in the case of an EMT who decided not to help a dying pregnant woman because she was on her coffee break. Trace Gallagher has the details. Trace? And now we know that Melissa Jackson will not be prosecuted at all. In fact, she was asked, if given the chance, would you change what you did? And she said, no, I would do it all over again. It was back in 2009. Jackson was on duty in uniform, walked into a coffee shop, and one of the employees had a severe asthma attack. Jackson called an ambulance, but refused to help the woman. She wouldn't even go into the back room to see what type of medical care was needed. Utisha Rennix, who was six months pregnant, at the time ended up dying. Jackson was arrested and charged with the flag down rule, right, which requires EMTs to treat someone if they're flagged down. The chief of New York's emergency medical services supported her being prosecuted, but then yesterday suddenly he flip-flopped telling prosecutors that the flag down rule does not apply to dispatchers because even though they're fully trained EMTs, they're not assigned to an ambulance, so they don't really have to help somebody when they're flagged down. Prosecutors are baffled at the reversal, but they said they were forced to drop the prosecution and listen to Melissa Jackson as she was leaving court yesterday. Apologize for what exactly? I had no type of equipment to render any care uh -huh. because I work inside of a dispatch center behind a computer. So you sleep well at night? Now. Yes, I do. I've always have because I did everything that I was able to do. Yeah, apparently, she sleeps very well at night. Utisha Rennix's mom, the woman who died, had this to say about Melissa Jackson. Listen, she has no feelings and no conscience of a human being. She was in the wrong profession to begin with. And here's the part that really was never reported. Melissa Jackson's boyfriend, who was having coffee with her in that Oban Pond, Megan, she, he also was a trained EMT, also on duty in uniform, and also refused to help. The reason he wasn't brought into this case is that shortly after that incident, he was shot and killed in an unrelated incident. Two EMTs both refused to help that dying woman. Wow. Wow. All right. Trace, thank you.